Okay, we're pouring bearings, making bearings for the Fairbanks Morris engine. It's about a 1930, early 1930s engine. And these bearings were damaged. Uh, the crankshaft bearings are damaged. So what we're gonna do is we're pouring new new bearings. And, uh, and uh, this right here, is the uh, this is the shell that the bearing would go in, and this is the bearing is cleaned out of it now. It's all clean, ready to be poured, and uh, these have been poured. These, uh, there's four of them, and uh, this is the uh, this is the apparatus that's used to to pour the shell, the bearing around in the shell. I'll go through that later, but um, I'll show you how it's all put together. And then this is uh, this is our Babbitt material, Babbitt material that goes, melt that down, pour it in here, right there. And it turns out like this right here, so. <laughs> It's quite a process, but uh, as I go, I'll, I'll explain it to you, and uh, we'll see what happens. This is the, uh, the hot plate and the bearing bearing framework. This is how it sets in the, on top of the heat. It has to, it has to be uh, about 300 degrees for it to work out. Okay, this is the cast that sits inside of the bearing. And this cast will, will center. And, uh, and then the material will be poured in around it. These are the end pieces. Go on each end to plug up the end of the, of the bearing cast so it doesn't leak out. And this is a picture of the mold all put together. You see the, the end pieces that block the fluid from flowing out the ends. And then this is the, this right here is the bearing itself, the bearing shell. And uh, in this area right here is where the, the bearing material will be poured into. We need to go one more step with it to make it secure. Okay, now I set this mold up and I put this putty on everywhere I didn't want the babbit to leak out of because it's that babbit's gonna wanna it's gonna wanna get out of every little tiny hole it can. So it's you know, it's, this is a this is a hole to pour into, and leave it open. And there's one over here, and leave it open too. Make sure you got a dam around it so that it doesn't get away, because it'll be all over the place. And this is the babbit right here. I'm gonna melt that down next, and uh, I've got the heat on the hot plate. It's warming up, warming up the framework here, and it'll warm up the framework to about 300 degrees, and then we'll warm the babbit up to about 700, and then we'll pour it out. This is the this is the putty. It's uh, fireproof. Well, I, it'll burn if you get it hot enough, but. It works good for uh, plugging up all the spots you don't want the babbit to run out of. Okay. Okay, I got the burner started. And the uh, framework here is up to 100 degrees. Another couple hundred we were ready. And then I'm going to put the, put 
the uh, babbit on the fire. Get it going, get it hot. A little melt here pretty quick. Then I'll get the rosebud torch out and we'll make everything all the way up to the right temperature and then we'll pour it. All right. As you can see, the material is melting. Sitting about uh, sitting about 600. And then do this to clean off the dirt off the top. I don't want any of that to go into the bearing. And the bearing frame is about 250 degrees. And this this molten bab babbit is about uh, it's about 600. framework. It needs to be around, it would be better if it was around 300, but I might uh, take the torch and warm it up a little more, the rosebud, and we'll clean off the top here, and we'll be ready to pour a bearing. Okay, I think we're ready to pour. 